Hey, welcome to another video and more importantly, welcome to a brand new year, like it's 2022. Now, this is actually the perfect time to release a video like this. Often I reflect upon my business and, and kind of try to understand how far I've come, you know, wins and losses and all. I've actually seen other creators online talk about a similar thing and, and produce content that explains their experience, their story, and more importantly, what they would do if they had to start again. So I've asked myself, if I had to start again, if I had to go back five years, start my business again, knowing everything that I know now, how would I do it? Because I assure you, and I promise you, I would do things differently. Okay, so this video is all about what I wish I knew when I started or what I would do differently if I had to start again. And this should hopefully help you guys who are looking to start a web design business here in 2022 and beyond. There are a lot of things that I did when I started that I wish I didn't do. There's a lot of lessons I've learned, a lot of time that I had wasted. So hopefully you're gonna find value in this video and kind of fast track and, and focus on the areas that I myself have found to be the most valuable and, and the most profitable. Now, before we do jump into this, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit subscribe, hit the bell notification too, and you'll be notified of all future releases. And let me know down in the comments, are you planning on starting a web design business this year? I mean, it doesn't even have to be a web design business. Are you starting any sort of agency, whether it's an SEO agency or paid media, like anything, this video is designed to help all agency owners or people that are looking to get into the digital web design, digital marketing space. So let me know down in the comments, guys. Now, secondly, I just want to address that I might sound a little bit different. That's because I've got a cold, but I still want to produce content. I still want to help you guys. So this is the video and this is what I'm putting out. So hopefully you are okay. Just stick with me. I promise you're going to find this video valuable. Let's go. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is YouTube. And still today, I think this is still a massively underutilized platform. Okay. There's lots of creators out there, but in the digital marketing or web design space, it can be an incredible space for you to kind of jumpstart your career and, and set yourself as an expert, especially when you are getting started. Okay, I know that it can be daunting. I remember when I started my YouTube channel, I actually didn't really have a purpose for it. I just knew that I wanted to produce content and I wasn't really sure what that would be. I knew that the more content I would put out eventually, as long as I was talking about the subject that I knew about, you know, people would see me as an expert and that's exactly what's happened. So what I recommend you do if you're getting started as a web designer this year is start a YouTube channel, start producing content around the subject, sounding like an expert and help those that are in need, help your potential clients because I guarantee you, as soon as they start identifying you and finding you and trusting you, when they need help, they're gonna come to you, okay? So start a YouTube channel. That would be the first thing that I would focus on. So yeah, start a YouTube channel. I've only had mine for two years and already it's been so, so valuable. Not only have I had people come to me for work, but I've been able to leverage it and utilize it and show people that I'm in communication with when I'm trying to land deals, okay? So start a channel, you'll find it really beneficial. The next would be to utilize SEO, all right? And I feel like I did this pretty late. Like I wish that I did this right from the beginning. Once I had my website, once I had my domain and I set my business up, I should have been hammering the search engine optimization. And I waited. I didn't think it was important. Okay, so going back, if I could do this again, I would put a lot of my time, money and effort into SEO. It's taken me over a year to start ranking positively for web design and, and search engine optimization and the other services that we offer within my local city, okay? The reason I did this was because I felt like I wanted to compete with the established businesses that were already here. I was delivering a good service and I wanted to be recognized. I honestly wish I could go back and do that sooner because the amount of organic traffic I now get to my site is incredible. The amount of organic leads and booked meetings that I get, it's great. I've won a lot of business just by utilizing search engine optimization. Now I'm in the process of trying to tackle other local towns and cities, but if I did this when I started, I would already be there, I'd already be dominating. So if you're getting started, honestly, check out SEO, make sure you put your time and effort in there. Do not underestimate the power of organic search results and organic traffic to your website. Okay, so the third thing that I would focus on and put my efforts on if I started again would be organic outreach and having some sort of like outreach strategy. This might sound stupid, but when I started my business, I knew how to design websites. I had just come out of working for an agency and I just assumed because I knew that, 
businesses would want to work with me. That's not true. Okay, that's not what happens. All right, so you need to put together some sort of outreach strategy where you are physically reaching out to businesses that need your services and see if they want to work with you. All right, that sounds simple. There's a little bit more technicality behind it. But in essence, what you need to do is focus on an outreach strategy that is effective. With my agency Alchemist program, for example, we actually work with web designers like yourself. And what we do is we give them our proven systems, our proven strategies, so they can actually go out and outreach to businesses and have a much higher chance of signing up new business. So yeah, make sure that you're using a proven outreach strategy and being proactive and consistent with your outreach efforts. The fourth thing, and this honestly guys is, it's, it's so important. And I know there's a lot of you out there that still don't do this, and that is use a service contract. When I got started in the early days of my freelance career and, and kind of forming my agency, uh, I worked on trust, which was very naive of me. And this kind of stems from working with an agency in the past and they didn't offer contracts, so I thought that might be the way to go. But when it comes to web design, okay, you need to have a contract in place. And that's, this is just to cover your ass, it's to give you that security. The last thing that you would want is to work really hard, do your outreach, your prospecting, sales calls, sign up a client, do the work, and then for them to decide to not pay you. All right, if you have no agreement in place, you don't really have a leg to stand on and you're gonna find yourself in hot water. All right, so it's incredibly easy to put together a service agreement or a contract of some sort, and you just send that to the client, it outlines the terms, it outlines what each of the parties are responsible for, and they'll sign it. It will allow you to be paid for the work that you have completed, okay? And if you ever find that you're up against a company that doesn't wanna sign a contract, don't work with them, okay? That, that's a huge red flag. And I've said no to businesses in the past who have said no to signing a contract, and honestly, it's probably the best thing I've ever done. So make sure that you are utilizing service contracts if you are getting started, okay? I know you might be new and fresh and eager to sign up clients, but please, 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 be professional, it looks a lot more professional and, and just give yourself that security. Number five, have a proven process. Okay, you need to have a proven process for your website design and development. And this goes as far as like onboarding a client, first interaction, signing them up, doing the design, doing the development, quality control, uploading the content, launching, signing off with the client. Like all of those things, you need to have a proven process, okay? And everyone's process differs slightly, but you need to figure out what works for you. Now, again, with an Agency Alchemist program, and in another YouTube video, actually, I'll try and link to it if it's launched. What I do is actually talk you through my own custom website design process. Okay, so it's literally from end to end. But you need to have a proven process that you can utilize and implement with every single customer that you sign up to ensure that you are delivering the highest quality level of service that you can be offering. Remember, you wanna be selling websites, high ticket websites for thousands of dollars or thousands of pounds. In order to do that, you need to have a process that is reflective of that type of money that you want to be charging. Number six, invest in yourself, okay? Whatever it might be, whether it is in equipment or courses or books, just, you, you need to keep learning, you need to invest in yourself, okay? And this is something that I struggled with in the beginning. I would refuse to buy courses, I would try and keep all my money to myself, I wanted to save it, okay? And what that actually meant was, I was doing myself a huge disservice because I wasn't learning, I kind of stayed at the same point for such a long time because I refused to buy education. And it wasn't until I actually started investing in multiple courses that I gained so much knowledge that my business was able to kind of skyrocket, okay? The, over the past year, my business has over doubled and I have a lot of courses to thank for that. So if I could go back from day one, I would be investing in myself. I would be buying a course that resonated with me, that gave me a proven process and gave me mentorship access to the course owner, okay? Learning from someone that's done this already is so, so beneficial. So if I could go back, get a mentor, get a proven process, invest in myself via courses or even equipment, that is exactly what I would do. Okay, so the seventh thing is don't try and do everything yourself. Now I was very guilty of this when I started. I would honestly try to do everything and not only that, I would actually say yes to any piece of work that would come in. If it was logo design, I would do it. If it was graphic design, I'd take it. Social media banners, I'd do it, web design, whatever it was, I would take it. And I was not only spreading myself thin, but actually the quality of work wasn't quite where it needed to be. Now going back to not trying to do everything yourself as well, you can really spread yourself thin if you're trying to do everything. Remember, you're a business owner. 
you're probably a web designer or anything else in a digital marketing space. You want to stick to what you're good at and where your strengths are. Okay, if there's anything that you want to offer that you're not very good at, look to outsource it. Hire members of staff or hiring contractors that are going to do the job much better than you. Okay, so that's another thing that I wish I knew when I got started was that I could utilize external people to help me with work and help me do a much better job, make me feel better within my business and actually deliver higher quality work to my clients so they are happy as well. So there are seven things there that I would do differently if I was getting started again today in 2022. These are all things I wish I knew when I got started. You now know them, you can now utilize them on your journey if you are getting started this year. Now I hope you found this really useful. Please do let me know down in the comments if you are getting started this year or if you've already got started, let me know how it's going. Remember to hit subscribe, hit the bell notification too, and you'll be notified of any future releases on this channel. There's an end screen coming up, which will be full of more useful content for you, I guarantee it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.